there's one basic principle which has been taught by economic thinkers. It didn't start today. And which is governing the view of all the world around these issues. And it's happened to be liberal. It is that trade, free movement of people and trade and goods is good for economic growth. On the contrary, closing your borders has never been something good for economic growth. Mm. This is the basic principle. And this principle is governing the approach that you see in the regional bodies mm -hmm. and regional integration, mm -hmm. including in our part of the world here. Now, you can't have free movement of goods without the people coming with, because goods don't, goods don't move themselves. They don't move themselves. They don't move themselves. So this has governed also the decision taken by ECOWAS, for instance, mm. that when you move from Ouagadougou to Accra, you, you don't need a visa. Mm -hmm. But moving is one thing. Establishing yourself is a different thing. Yeah. And this is where country has their sovereignty mm -hmm. to allow citizens from other countries to stay or not to stay based on the documentation that you provide, you know, and what, the, the, what you're supposed to be done. If there are some bad guys here, who've been establishing themselves here, there's two ways they maybe have entered. Either they were granted a permit of residence, or they came illegally. Mm. But if they came illegally, it has nothing to do with the decision of free flow, because yeah. illegal people don't <laughs> work by the rules of law. If it's a decision by the government here, or by the immigration service to accuse but, but yourself, I let you know, in our subregion here, I'm familiar with the accusation, let's be very careful. Mm. For instance, even in Burkina, people tell you, we have armed robbery, it's because, and those who were killed are Burkina. They're not from Morocco or Qatar or whatever, they're Burkina. Even one of, one of them, one of those who was killed yesterday, was a former soldier who was ousted from the army in 2011. Nigeria, no. For a Nigerian to come here and do that, it means that there's Ghanaian acting with them. <laughs>